Welcome to the Grace Now Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. And let's crack into another one. Let's do it. So, TNT, yeah. I uh, saw online that they have approved some lab grown meats for FDA approval, like chicken. I see. Okay. I yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I feel like this is like, you know, they've already done this. No, though, right? this is like new ish. It's new it's lab grown now. meat. Yeah, it's lab grown. It's oh, not, not like the vegan stuff. No, like, it's like it's like they take chicken cells and grow it. Okay, so, so it's it's this is like the first commercial lab grown product that has been given to the public. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I saw clear. how they're grown. <laughs> I, I read. I want to read this to you. Little meat farms, dude, on the meat. It plant. is little meat farms. <laughs> little meat. It farms. says the process of creating lab-grown meat is completely different from the normal meat raising process. You don't say. You, you wouldn't say. You wouldn't say. It says. It says first the cells come from live animals. Scientists have known for a long time how to keep living cells alive and grow them in a lab. In this case, experts choose cells that can grow quickly and will have good flavor. Now we get to the, the part. Okay, okay. <laughs> you want the, the best tasting cells. Right. Yeah, I like my cells to taste good. The the cells... How my cells taste, girl. ...are grown inside large steel tanks. Okay. Where it's... they're fed with everything they need to grow. In a few weeks, the cells grow into clumps or how... sheets wait, of wait, meat. Wait, 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 hold on. First off, let's... Wait, hold let's... on. <laughs> the companies then form this meat into more familiar shapes like cutlets, nuggets, sausages that can be cooked and be sold. Okay. This has turned into vat candy, bro. It, it is. Okay. I don't know <laughs> what a vat of cells looks like. Okay. I can't even picture it. I imagine what I what I imagine is like you take like raw ground chicken and no. you take a steel tank and you just slap it on the side. No. And that's what it looks like. No, because are they like stuck together? Or so if it's cells can be like a, a lot of different things. So it can be like a uh, it can be like a solid. It could be like a gelat like a gel. I it feel could it's be like, like raw chicken because they said they can shape it into like cutlets or nuggets or whatever. Because like if you take raw chicken, you take like a little cookie cutter and be like, little dinosaur, bread it, deep fry. It. There you go, chicken nugget. So they just grow a bunch of just like okay tissue, I, chicken t tissue, oh, oh, faux tissue, t t faux chicken. It's real. Tissue. It's 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 animal cells. It's not faux at all. It's real, hundred percent real. Just not it's grown just on a it's just not grown on a bone. All right, so what's the name of the brand? Do we have a brand oh, name? Don't know, we dude. don't have a brand name? Yeah, I mean, they had a couple names. I didn't get all that. Is it in America is the next question. Oh, I don't or know. Or is this in a Truth different Truth, not country? facts, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get I I, I got so this story Florida. like two weeks ago before I was on vacation. <laughs> yeah, in 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 Florida by... Why are we going to do this story before we do Alien Trust kid, me, man. bro, Inc. Aliens just happened. All right, look. <laughs> this is This is... I'll put the alien one out first. I guess I have to. No, no, no. It's fine. I guess I have to ask. Would you try it? Yeah, I would too. Well, here's I'm not the thing. against it. I, I would eat uh, chicken dust tenderloins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't eat chicken nuggets now, really. So I mean, I guess I would. I guess if like McDonald's, like we have fake or we have lab grown chicken nuggets, it would taste no different. I, you would not be able to tell a difference. So my thing is, is like. It, it okay. Essentially, it's supposed to be you know, so it's not harmful to like the animals. Yeah, right? it's approved. Yeah, but technically, so, it's would it be vegan approved? I was curious about that because like, could vegetarians eat? No, not vegetarians. Vegans. Cause yeah, I mean, or, it's, it's chicken cells, but what if they take a dead chicken who is not who died from natural causes, yeah. and, and they, it's not like a lab? No, they just don't eat. Anything made of chicken. Okay, so look, yeah, okay, so like obviously, okay, a vegan can't eat it because they don't eat meat. Anything animal product. But a lot of the reasoning for becoming vegan is because of the harm. The way it's treated. Yeah, and vegetarians too. They're like, well, I'm just not going to eat yeah. meat because they put them in so I wonder, a billion cages. And I wonder if this becomes more mainstream, how many are going to jump ship? Take vegans to the lab. Let them watch the, <laughs> take them to the lab. Let them watch the cells grow. You, I mean, I gotta watch you grow these cells. I want. They should put a Twitch channel, like a live stream, just watching cells like populate. Dude. And, and uh, you're right. And you know what? The real big thing is that no vegan 
or vegetarian is going to start fighting for like cell rights because they all believe that uh in abortion yeah like it's every just single a, one of them i'll believe <laughs> they all believe in abortion wow every single, i am willing to guarantee you that every, that every vegetarian single vegan and or vegetarian is also pro, pro life. choice is that choice? Pro choice, yes. yes okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pro yeah. life is you don't want them to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will. I'm guaranteeing it right now. I mean, I mean, I'm sure podcast. there's at least one. It, it can't be everyone, but <laughs> but I feel like I feel like that's a that's probably a, a correct assumption. So they can eat if, it. They, if they care about animal rights and don't care about baby rights. <laughs> what kind of what kind of person does that make them? <laughs> they care about cats but don't care about babies. I agree with that. Actually, wait. Well, wouldn't that make them pro life? It's crazy. Because crazy. because they care about the animal, so they care about the baby, and they don't want it aborted. No, it's not, it's not about the baby. It's about body autonomy. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's about gotcha. having the choice. Yeah, so like the choice should still be. You know, oh, that yours. makes sense. Okay, yeah. I guess. I don't know, man. But it's not like the baby supersedes the animals. I don't think that's the, the issue at hand. Yeah. I mean, I understand where you're going with this, and you make a valid point, so you're free to uh, I don't know. I've give just, pushback I, I never if thought like. about the correlation between abortion preference and I, vegetarian I, meals. I 100% see the hypocrisy in I all I mean, I it. don't know. I, well, I somebody do. somebody I write into the show. Tell us how you feel about it. <laughs> You're looking. You're just looking for a conservative view. What I, what I, we can just turn it into conservative boys. Uh, can we? Yeah, uh, let's we? just turn it into conservative boys. You uh, wanna? Uh, oh, tax me less. Is that what, you, is that what they say? I, exact. I already have a true social. Oh, do you? Yeah, I, I would be like, tax me less. Let's go eat at the Trump Burger place. You damn right. I gotta see what Donnie T's up to. Donnie T. Um. But the, something else that sparked my interest about this was they said they feed the cells. So they're all like, hey, Joe, go in and spray down the... How the hell do cells eat? I imagine they just like, like spray them with like a nutrient bath. Can I get sprayed with a nutrient bath instead of eating? I don't want you to ask me that ever <laughs> I don't again. want you to do it. Don't I just ask if I me could. that. <laughs> all right. Don't you dare ask me. Just if assume I the answer is yes if you can pursue it, okay? Yeah, you can pursue can, that. Can I absorb nutrients through my flesh? Bro, you, yeah. My soft, you, porous tissues. <laughs> look, I think you, you have a go-getter attitude. And if you want to get sprayed with nutrients, you can make that happen for yourself. Can I spray my attitude with nutrients? Wow. Now you're talking some fifth dimensional type Next stuff. Next level? Like, can, yeah, can I feed my ego nutrients? <laughs> can I feed my ego nutrients? Wow. Mm. Mm. If the moon is in retrograde, I believe yeah, anything is possible. If the moon is in a Venus sphere, can I retrograde to Mars? I'm gonna know. give a hundred percent here. I would uh I would switch to the cruelty free. Okay. Uh, lab grown meat if it were delicious. And then you know what honestly, you know what I have to say is that the fact that the science has already come to the, the whole idea of meat that is the most delicious. Okay. Which is what you, you you did say that they chose the most delicious cells. I don't right? know how they determine that from a cell. I don't either. They but suck I on them, put them back in the jar. I like assume a that they probably you know tested it and they were like, oh, this one tastes the best to the 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 uh, the, the group that the oh the beta group. testers. Yeah, the control group that they gave it to. Yeah. So if we can get to a point where we can make meat that has less fat. But still maintains. Can the I taste. get zero calorie chicken wings? That is what I'm coming to. But can they put the meat back on the bone for me? This is what I'm coming <laughs> so to. It's, it's like honestly, as disgusting as it may sound, it is still like the first step into us not only solving hunger as an issue, but also making it so that our food can work for us. We can we, we can still achieve the flavor without the necessarily calories, calories but i feel like i feel like that they properties. won't do that because i feel like somehow they make money off homeless and hungry people i feel like a burger that is zero calories and tastes like a 1200 dollar 12 1200 cal burger 1200 calorie burger is going to fly off the shelves though so Capitalism will supersede. Even, even if they came out with a uh, calorie, calorie-less bread, 
that actually tasted good. 100%. I would eat the ish out of 100%. that. 100%. I love bread. If they had cheese and bread that didn't have any calories, I'd eat nothing else. And and this is what I'm saying. It's like they've already proven that they can, they can like, uh, think, what do you call that? Uh, like, figure out which molecule it tastes the best to the human palate. Yo, let's do that. Let's pull the calories out. Exactly. Take the calories out. Johnny Scientist, let's pull the GD calories out of this wing and let me smash. Yo, I don't care how much I poop. If I can eat a burger that is 30 calories, sign me the fuck up, all right? All right. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'd be in. I don't even really eat burgers anymore, but I'd do it if they were, <laughs> if they were 30 calories. Exactly. <laughs> if you. somebody was like, you can eat a pound of bacon every day. It's oh! zero calories. <laughs> you just could sit there and just eat strips of bacon all day. Oh! <laughs> Taste it exactly the same. I'd be in. Oh! Why, is that good or bad? I don't know. It's, I, it sounds amazing <laughs> to me. Because <laughs> honestly, and this is better than Ozempic. Yeah, right. Exactly. This all is right. better than Ozempic. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep. Yeah.